Hi, can you tell us your name and tell us about your project? Hi, my name is Raymond Gosling. I am an understudy for Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins. We have been using x-rays to diffract off crystalline structure of DNA to get a better grasp of its structure and components. Through meticulous practice, Rosalind and I have done calculations and experimentation in order to balance the x-rays off the DNA in order to gain a picture of what DNA looks like. Hmm. What were you guys trying to do or find? As stated earlier, we have been trying to find the reflection point and scatter point of DNA in order to get better picture to bounce back across the lens so that we can determine its structure. So where did the project or experiment occur? Rosal and I have been working together conducting the experiment at King's College in London, England. Well, can I ask you what other significant events were happening around the world at that time? The saddest, I have to state, is the passing of our great King George the, the Sixth. We are approaching seven years after World War II and dropping of the atomic bomb in Japan. There's been a lot of scientific work discovered at the atomic level. Scientists, scientific research right now has developed many pharmaceuticals such as the ones for leukemia and vaccines for polio. The most important scientific research at this time seems to be dedicated to the better understanding of DNA. Well, um, who else was involved in this project? The scientists working on X-ray diffraction were Maurice Wilkins, Rosalind Franklin, and an I. This was all this was all done under the guidance of Sir John Randall the head of the physics department at King's College in London. What was your role in the project? I was assigned to work with Maurice Wilkins by Sir John Randall to develop a better understanding of the structure of DNA. I was reassigned to work with Rosalind Franklin, which caused some animosity between Wilkins and Franklin. During my time with Rosalind, we used Bragg's equation and experimental data to try and get x-rays to diffract off what we believe would be a crystalline structure of DNA. I was able to help Roslyn to formulate the math and develop the best angle for diffraction, which would cause them to scatter to help us create a picture. So what impact did your project have on the physics community? The photo that Rosalind and I were able to capture allowed us to interpret the shape of DNA. This shape helped others in similar fields to fully develop what is known about DNA. This includes the helical structure, the base per twist, the lattices that shape the DNA, and measurements pertaining to its size. What is your opinion of Rosalind Franklin and the struggle of women in the 1950s. In the, in the 1950s, women are not taken very seriously in the scientific community. Their roles are usually relinquished as lab analysts and understudy. In some cases, they are used as custodial staff. Rosalind Franklin has a brilliant mind with great attention to detail and mindset. Her meticulous work ethic and inability to give up was what allowed us to develop the infamous photo 51. The photo was eventually stolen from Franklin and I and helped Maurice Wilkins, James Watson, and Francis Click earn a Nobel Peace Prize. This was a further testament to the disrespect that was given to women during this time frame because Maurice Wilkins believed that women did not belong in a laboratory and made everything harder for Franklin which eventually caused him to steal her photo and help two other scientists to gain reward from her hard work. Thank you.